Welcome to RBF. Today, guys, we be going over the rib survival kit. This is a good time you get ribs in, usually at a grocery store or a small market, or even a deli. And then, yeah, you turn it into a survival kit. It's pretty cool because it has the nice amount of room to work with. And you can see everything laid out pretty nicely, so it doesn't have to be all stacked on top of each other in one small container. That's like how it's all spread out. Yeah. Go ahead and pop this. Now, if you do want this waterproof, you're going to have to find a way to seal these boys, which is probably just some flex seal tape on both sides, a little piece, pop, pop, pop. And this should hold up most of the moisture, unless you're fully submerging it. Um, then you can go ahead and either add more tape around the edges or just a little bit of silicone. You can go ahead and seal this up, throw this under the seat, between the seats and the side-by-side, -side, side of the quad, anything like that, and kind of forget about it until you need it. Yeah, pop this open. You have this nice big old tray so you can lay all your stuff out. When you're out there, you don't have to put it on the ground. Right on top, we have our rain poncho. This is a clear rain poncho. Of course, it is to keep you dry. It can also be used to make shelter or rain collection, stuff like that. Right over here, to keep you warm. We have two Mylar emergency blankets. These are great for reflecting your body heat back on you. Great for making shelters. Great for signaling. Great for marking trails. Just overall great things to have. And we have these uh, trash ties on them just to keep them a little more compact like a little burrito. Forms of signaling. We have a clip-on emergency whistle, signal whistle. I also believe this yeah, has a little lanyard loop here. And then it also has this clip you can go on your belt, the neck of your shirt, anything like that. Or even being clipped on the inside of a bag. Second form of signaling. We have our 12 survivors signal mirror. It's a little scuffed up, but it still does the job. Go ahead and... Here we have two water collection bags. These are just basic Ziploc bags with some trash ties around them. We also have some duct tape for either gear repair or fire starting. But we also have duct tape around this just to make it easier. This is mostly for gear repair and first aid. This is more or less your fire starter, you rip off a strand, light it, and it just makes the fuel last longer. And the rest of our little cards here. Here we have a micro lens, or a magnification lens, my bad. Magnification card, great for first aid, fire starting and stuff like that, or just checking out what's going on with you. We also have a punch out survival card. So we have our fork or spearhead, an arrowhead, two line collectors, a plethora of hooks, and then two needles, sewing needles. We also have a sewing kit. This has another needle in it, two safety pins and two buttons, along with five threads. Great just to have gear repair or even first aid. We also have our fishing kit. This is our homemade one. We got some line, a good amount of line wrapped around here. Built up some borders with some heavy duty electrical style tape. And then I went ahead and not filled it, but have a good amount of sinkers and hooks and whatnot right in there. And you could fill this whole entire thing. You could probably be fishing for a couple months without any issues, as long as you're not losing too much line or anything like that. But you could easily double the amount of line that's on there. Here we have our water purification tablets, a little capsule. These are getting a little powder, so we're going to have to switch these out for some new stuff. We also have our Frontiers water filtration straw. Great little thing. Find these on Amazon for a pretty good deal. And I went ahead and cut down the straw and added a trash tie just to keep everything together and compact. Form of cooking. We're using boiling water. We have some tin foil here. This can even be used for a dry surface to start a fire on. If you're in a very damp environment, that it could just be sucking all the heat and all that stuff and the moisture be coming up into your fire and just killing it. So that makes it a little bit easier. In addition, we have two fire starting cube packets. These have two blocks in them. That's one solid block that you can break in half. This one's already busted. And it makes four fires instead of just two. We also have our Koga hand ferro rod. A little bit of electrical tape here. Ideally, it's going to be orange and go all the way around just in case you drop this and it's all black. 
If you guys have ever watched Alone, the first season, Joe Robinette, that's the exact reason why most of your gear, especially the stuff that's used daily and very, very essential, should have orange on it so you can find it. And then you have higher chances of finding it because it's never a for sure thing. For light, we have our members mark flashlight zooms out zooms in has a couple different modes and this is a very cool light this does not go on the dark sadly and then i added this on just so you have a way to either connect it to something or there's a better grasp on it or if you want it hanging from somewhere it just works easier like that we also have two packets of 10 hour hand warmers since it is getting a little bit more chilly here in the north I'm gonna start putting those back in the kits because ideally you don't wanna be freezing out there and hand warmers along with the Mylar bags or blanket is pretty much unbeatable. Here, just have two hard mints, just give you a little bit of boost out there, as well as a packet of peanut butter. This is 28 grams of peanut butter. It's not life changing, but it gives you a little more energy here we have our compass, of course, for navigation. I believe this is a Koga hand. It might not be. Oh, okay, so this is the off right one. But it still works the same. It's like 10 bucks. Here we have our 550 paracord. Just in case you need to hang something up or throw one of these over top of you and a little bit of an A-frame shelter, go ahead and do that. Another way of signaling, this one's for a night. It's a six inch light stick. Usually come with string or you can take your 550 paracord or your fishing line, put out about three or four feet, light this sucker up and spin it in a circle around you, do different kind of patterns, a nice open patch. And if there are people in your area, especially in the sky, they're doing helicopter flyovers, drone flyovers, or C-130 flyovers, it will have a higher chance or a higher rate of seeing you, uh, let alone or better off than just having nothing to be in the dark, which, you know, everything helps. Here, we have our first aid kit. I was just thinking, I gotta tell you guys, I wanna do a video, how my dad went missing and had to get rescued by the Coast Guard. Cause that's, that's how it happened. You know, you gotta get rescued, get found. In this first aid pack, we have two triple antibiotic ointments. We have our non-aspirin. We have some sting relief pads, as well as some basic bandages, additional bandages, as well as some butterfly styled ones. We have some sunscreen, some lotion, metalite, another triple antibiotic ointment. We have our ibuprofen, uh, more brand bacterial ointment, so antibiotic, I'm assuming, and then aspirin. And that, oh, no, that is not the kit, guys. This, this was dark in the bottom. I didn't catch it quite. I don't have my glasses on today. This is our Gerber multi tool. Of course, you have your needle nose, pliers, your little wrench, and your wire cutters. And then over here, Close her back up. You can go ahead and pop off. We have our saw. I feel like my fingers are just always too big for this. We have our blade as well as our screwdrivers. We have our Phillips head, which is a really nice Phillips. And we have our flat head. <sighs> trying, guys. We have another saw or a descaler. One's a descaler and one's a saw. At least that's what I mean being told. Close that. We have our can opener, bottle opener. I believe this is another screwdriver. If I'm wrong, I'm sure I'll get corrected. Then finally, not but not least, if I get it out. Why is this one being such a pain? Okay. Here we have scissors, which I thought was kind of cool. Wasn't expecting that to be the last one when I got them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments, what you guys would do differently. 
And if there's any kind of content in the outdoors realm that you'd want to see coming to the channel, please leave it down in the comments. I, I love feedback. I love new ideas. And so if you can guys give me something to work with, I want to see what we can do there. Um, but thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and me. Have an amazing day.